today is the day. Spent the night here at a hotel in Tennessee. A little clue for you guys. Today's the day that we get to go pick up the brand new bass boat for the 2024 season. Super excited about this one. It's been hard to keep this secret. Can't wait to tell you guys what this boat is, show you guys the boat. So 7.30 in the morning right now. The factory opens up at eight, so we are about to head out and go pick up the new boat, show you around uh, the factory of the new boat company that I'll be working with. Super excited about this one, guys. Stay tuned. Good morning, welcome back. May I take an order, please? Hey, good morning. Can I just get a medium cold brew black? Okay. That'll be it. All right, 416 at the window. Thank you. Got to start the morning off with an iced coffee. Well, if you guys have been around the channel for a while, you guys have uh, heard me and my buddy Brian Latimer, B Lat, discuss this. But let me know, how do you guys take your coffee? I just drink it black. B Lat says that black coffee is disgusting, that he can never drink it. A couple other people have said the same thing, but uh, I don't know. Most people, most of the fishermen that I talk to, I feel like like it black. So, how do you take your coffee black, or do you put some stuff in it? And then I I prefer the iced coffee. I don't really like hot coffee. I mean, if it's if it's all that's available, I'll do it. But really, I prefer iced coffee, no matter how cold it is. It's 33 out right now, but I don't know. I just can't get behind hot coffee. All right, guys, we made it. I think I might have seen my boat actually uh, when I was driving in here it's been uh it's been sitting here for about a couple weeks or so it's been ready just haven't had a chance to come up here and grab it but uh i haven't even seen the boat they sent me one picture of it and it had the cover on it so got kind of a sneak peek but haven't actually seen the full boat all right guys walking up the secret is out icon boats i'll be running the lx20 this season so we're here at the factory in madisonville tennessee i'm gonna go inside and meet everybody and check out the boat Icon Boats. Yeah. Welcome to Icon. We're glad to have you. I got yeah. a few things to show you. trying to find mine. I think they have it stored all the way in the back. They didn't want me to they didn't want me to see it right when I walked in. <laughs> Can't reveal everything. They have a little suspense. Alright, I think we're walking up to it right now. Get a little bit of a sneak peek but it's still covered up. Check that out guys. Alright, I say we pull the cover off this sucker. <laughs> Let's do it. There she is, guys. Goes, oh, I don't Beautiful. Know. Let's jump in yeah. it for the first time. Look at this. Check out these seats. That really sets it apart. That white accent on the seats there. I was just saying, I think I'm gonna get get some decals for the Mercury. Maybe do some white ones there to kind of set everything off. Really tie the boat in together. But check this thing out, guys. First look at it. Check out that massive compartment right there. And we got the new power pull move trolling motor up here. So gotta put graphs on it when we get it back down to Florida, but we are pretty much pretty much all rigged out and ready to go. Already got the power poles on it, motor, Bob's jack plate. Let's take a look at the rigging back here. Got all our batteries, Monster Marines installed. Just make sure power pull charge. Everything nice and clean back here. Pop open the other side. More monsters. Got our blades. That's that live well. 
additive. What's this called? The V2 system, right? Where it pumps in the, the live well additive. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. See, so we'll just fill this guy up with G juice or whatever kind of stuff we use and it'll just pump right into the live wells. So that's that's a cool feature right there. Let's pop open these live wells here. 64 ounces. You got your, here we are on the live wells. You got your chiller plate. You got the insulated live wells. You drop in, your compressor is located right here. There's that chiller box. We got our center storage right there. Let's get in the driver's seat. We're gonna take it out in the lake here in a minute. There's a lake down the road. We're gonna drive it around. There's our little screen right there. We'll do some more stuff out on the water, but this is just a initial little walk through here. Fire up the screen. We got our touch screen right here for everything. Play around with it a little bit when we get out on the water, but Here's the first look at it guys, the brand new Icon LX20. All right guys, that's a wrap here at the Icon factory. We got the new rig, I'm ready to run this thing. It's freezing here in Tennessee though, so they got a lake down the road, but I think I'm just gonna head back to Florida to a little bit warmer weather to run this thing. Bo, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for the tour of the factory. Can't Thank wait you. to uh, partner with you guys. Thank you for the opportunity. Really looking forward to running this boat on tour this year. And uh, I think I'm going to head back to Florida to get to a little bit warmer weather. I don't blame you, and we're <laughs> excited to have you on our team. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. We're heading back to Florida, guys. We'll do a test run of the boat, everything like that. But here we are at the Icon factory. Couldn't be more excited to partner with Icon. Let's get back to some warmer weather. Icon. I'm going to do a quick little walkthrough with you guys. This is my first time out on it, so I'm still learning the boat a bit. But we'll go through some of the, the features of the boat, the trolling motor. I got the brand new power pole move, so about doing myself off on the dock with that thing. We put the boat in the water, it's so powerful. But here's the giant center storage compartment right here. I just dropped a few boxes in it for today. We're really just running the boat around, just threw two rods in the boat and a box or two. But I mean, you can fit a ton of tackle in there. This thing is huge. Only got the rod lockers. Again, huge rod locker. Just threw a few, a few of them in the boat for today, but you can probably fit 30, 40 rods in there. It's got like that sea deck type lining at the bottom, no carpet, so the rods and stuff don't hold any moisture, don't get wet. We got a couple little boxes here, just a, another little rod box or storage container here. Got some of my power pole stuff and the new seats in there. A little day box right here. Just threw a couple packs of baits in there for today. Next up is the cooler. We got the big cooler. It's insulated from below, so it's supposed to keep ice nice and long. We'll put that to the test and let you guys know how it works. And then we just got a center storage box. We got the live wells back here. Um, I kind of already showed you guys when we first first got on the boat these little storage compartments back here so that's the that's the general setup here on the boat I'm gonna fish here for about 30 45 minutes just kind of get a feel for the boat get a feel for the trolling motor and then we got to get this thing rigged out for the season mm -hmm. 